All right, guys, today we learned about three new vocabulary words. We wrote them out down on a vocabulary reference sheet that we received today in class. Students wrote down these words. So they wrote down, the median of a triangle is a segment whose endpoints are a vertex of the triangle and the midpoint of the opposite side. So let's put a red dot on all our vertices. And let's put a blue dot on all our midpoints. If we connect these together with a green line segment, we will have indicated each median. These are called medians that are in green. In green, we have the medians. Okay, now in red, let's make it in black actually. In black, that black dot where all the medians are in the center, that is called the centroid. The centroid is the center of gravity and it is located two-thirds of the distance from each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Another word we learned is the angle bisector. It cuts an angle into two equal parts. In a triangle, we have three angle bisectors. We have an angle bisector here. We have an angle bisector here in green. And we have an angle bisector here in blue. The point where all three angle bisectors meet is called an end center. That's the black dot. It's equidistant from the sides of the triangle. Equidistant, what it means? It means same distance. And one more word we talked about today. That word is the mid-segment of, of a triangle. A mid-segment of a triangle is a segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. It is parallel to a side of the triangle and its length is half the length of that side. Okay, let's talk about it. Now notice the color-coded lines are parallel. The two red lines are parallel, the two green lines are parallel, and the two blue lines are parallel. Notice the exterior, the outside red line is 4. The line inside the triangle, I should say line segment technically, the line segment inside is 2. Therefore, the, mid, the segment formed between, called the mid-segment, this red line, Let's go ahead and highlight all our mid-segments. Here's a mid-segment, here's a mid-segment, here's a mid-segment. Now those mid-segments are going to be half the length of the lengths of the outside lines, the exterior line segments outside. So the red line outside is 4, the red line inside is 2, formed called the mid-segment. Now, there's no points of concurrency. Let's remember what the word concurrency means. Concurrency means three lines that cross in this context. That means three lines that cross. Let's continue. And the next thing we did, I gave students some time to finish this assignment we went over some of the answers, and some of the students wrote the answers on the board. So I'm going to get, scroll through some of the answers that I made and some of the answers the students wrote up here on the board. That's answer to number one. I asked my students also to do numbers two and three. You may, two and three, make sure you do them. There's two. Number three, the answer is one, two. Crawl ahead and cross out 4, 5, and 6. There's number 9. There's number 11. A, a student wrote number 11, nice and big. And 
Well, let's go ahead and add the segment notation on top, just to indicate it's a segment. And number 13, let's make that one a little clearer. It's kind of hard to read. 13 should say PE. PE is right here. PE equals PG, which is equal to PF, which is equal to H. All right, here's the answer to number 15. Now, the way we found the answer to 15, we did this. We solved the equation. 2x plus 4 equals 4x minus 6. And the way we did that, we began by subtracting 2x. And we were left with 4 equals 4x minus 2x is 2x minus 6. If I add 6 to the left-hand side, we're going to be left with 4 plus 6 is 10 equals 2x. Finally, we divide, find x by 10 divided by 2 equals x, so 5 equals x. So our answer for x is 5. Now the way we found the measurement of segment dg, we have to remember that dg is congruent to de and df. So if we substitute back x into our, expr our equations for DE and DF, well, what is 2 times 5? It's 10. What's 10 plus 4? Well, it's going to be 14. Therefore, I put 14. We can also use DF. If I do 4 times 5, I get 20. 20 minus 6 is also 14. Hey, that's the video. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.